Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this TypeScript video tutorial we will learn about the generics in the TypeScript. So these are the points. We will see what is the generics, why we need it. We will make the program in a two way without the generic and with the generic so that you can see the difference and you can check the real power of the generics functions. All right. So um, now the first question is that what is the generics in the TypeScript? So generic functions is basically uh, capture the uh, data type of uh, the function that is provided in by the user, right? And give the output according to the provided data type, all right? So for example, if user provide the data type in the string, then it can be provide the result in a string also. If user provide the data in the numeric, in a boolean, then they will provide the output according to it. And what is the benefit of it? The, the benefit of it that uh, the user should not need to define the manually uh, function type and the parameter type and uh, it can accept the all kind of values so that uh, one function can be used again and again and all, all right? So now you will understand it better when we are just see the program. So now let's start with it. So I am just going to make a function. And let's say the function name is users and it has the parameter like data and it will just going to return this data type here. So like return uh, data, perfect. So here you can just define maybe uh, this data type can be a string so that the Return type also should be also string. That's great. And now let's say I'm just going to make a console dot warn and this users function and this is pro uh, getting the data like Anil. So it will be working fine. So there is no error. So let's try it with the terminal also. I'm just going to put here the two command type script compiler. Uh, app dot ts minus minus watch and here you can just write here node app dot js all right so this is the output this is pretty fine there is no issue all right so now uh, let's say uh, once again i just want to give the output as an numeric value like say just i want to check the age then now you can see that this is not possible because uh, uh, we have a string value and we cannot provide it the uh, uh, numeric value all right so this is the again problem and let's say again the user just want to put a value and here it will just provide a normal object like name can be anil and uh, here age can be 30 all right so again there is a problem so that time we have to make the three functions one two and three all right but generic uh, uh, functions can resolve this problem in a single way so how so we don't need to just define the data type like this we can just simply de define the data type here uh, so like this t all right and this is the notation even you can provide here anything like x and v and b whatever you just want but t is a uh, you can say that the uh, standard thing in uh, programming for the generics so here I'm just going to put here t and the function return type also be a t here, right? Now let's try to run it and you can see that the, the output of the all of them is working great, all right? So even you can just capture the output by like this. If you just put here like name uh, of the object, then it will just going to still working fine. So this is that how a generic program can uh, really powerful than, powerful than the normal program. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye. Take care.